All right, baby, this title makes me think we're about to get into it. Episode nine of our Mob Psycho 100 watch through today, Claw 7th Division. Claw, of course, being the organization that we were told about last episode that takes espers and brainwashes them to use them, I guess. Ritsu has been taken and it's up to Mob and Teru and Dimple, I guess, to, to take him back. Stop, Claw, who knows? Drop a fat like on the video if you haven't already and let's hop into it. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, that was not who hurt him. Yeah, Mob's gonna be on their radar now. I can't imagine how strong this, like, boss man type is. Oh, they're a pair. Is this the division leader? What is his facial hair? What is his regular hair? Upper echelon Tarada. Upper echelon Claw. Oh, God, that, that's one of the higher-ups, baby. Terada looks scary, dude. Probably surpassed me. Oh my gosh. Wait, so they're just going after him? K thinks. There's no way that's what he said. Mob in the plaid, bro. Let's go, Teru. I'll take him on our side. <laughs> hey, Teru. Is really strong. And he knows Mob is the strongest. What are you gonna do, man? I mean, he could, I think he just feels responsible for the, what happened to the kids. He knows? Oh, wow. Teru is just on it. <laughs> oh, gosh. I love Dimple's face, man. I don't know. Oh. No shot! He didn't stand a chance! Give him a sip of water. Bro embarrassed them! <laughs> oh my gosh, he gave up everything! Oh, there's a meeting with all of them. Seven out of the eleven. Is that a child? Moraki. Who's the tippity top? Mukai is the child. Ooh, these, these guys are creepy. Ooh, nails. <laughs> no, he lost to a middle score. Well, they, yeah, they do all have scars. Oh. Oh, the leader. Oh, shoot. Oh, Ishiguro is the leader. I okay, guess so the boss isn't here. Okay, so we're kind of seeing the hierarchy of all this. God damn! Oh. He's got a scar too. Oh! Muto. Got he creepy. Don't hurt Minecraft, Steve, man. Well, their powers are like super minute compared to Ritsu. No way does he kill this child. What is he gonna do? Torture him? Oh, they, yeah. They work fast around here. Oh my God. What is this? That's just. <laughs> oh my god. It's a child. Oh. Was he just. Oh my god. They had him drive him back. Oh, Terada's gonna be in so much trouble, man. Once they find out. Uh, I don't think you guys understand what you're walking into. Oh. Now's when you stand up to them? Oh. Air whips. Oh, that's kind of sick. His voice is very familiar too. Who voices him? I hate when that happens and I don't know. Why did he not take a stand against them earlier? Just underestimated them, I guess. <laughs> that startled me. That's what I was saying, but I feel like they're going to find out one way or another that they got there because of him. Come on, boys! You ain't even in the HQ yet! This is just one of them! I really don't think they understand the, the gravity of this, though. Like, who's inside? Oh my gosh, the colors. He's flipping him off! Don't let him hit Terra's hair again! He still hasn't attacked anyone with them. Is this gonna be the first... 
Bob? Okay, he knocked him out. I was like, that man, I thought he just perished. Yeah, for real. All it takes is mob attacking you. Battle will only last a night. God dang, dude. I thought this whole episode was going to be set up, but it, it, it may all go down now. Yeah, you don't want to live a life like that. Don't let his brother's death be in vain. What? Oh. Wait, did he fake his death? Oh my god! Oh, okay. Yeah, out of anyone else. So they aren't, that shows they're not willing to kill them. It's dangerous, yes, but they're not gonna get thrown away that, that easily. That's also a good plan is to strike whenever they underestimate you. You guys do not look that strong. I'm sorry. I mean, compared to Ritsu, probably not. <laughs> uh, I don't know any of them. Not a single one. I just know the, the psychic kids. That's, that's what I think of them as. And Ritsu. I know Ritsu. Okay, you can say your specialties, but you're not that good at it, so... Super... Yeah, it's not. Earn everything. It's not like superheroes. By whom? Daichi. The guy... Yeah, we know you're that guy. That's all he... That's his fun fact? Yeah, but none like us, guys. Come on. And they don't know that mob and them are here too. <gasps> a spoon! They can use it as a weapon. There's no way it works like this. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'll never underestimate you guys again. Sorry. Uh, I'm not intimidated by you guys. I'm sorry. No, I mean, I think you fight. Yeah, I was gonna say, he knows his limits and whatnot. That's you guys. What? I'm surprised they're letting him get this far. Damn. He's just trying to make them angry. He doesn't, yeah, I was gonna say, he doesn't know exactly his limits and whatnot, but he knows he's strong. Oh. Oh no, yeah, it was easy. Oh. Oh, yeah, I mean, if he can com communicate telepathically. Oh, her clairvoyant? I don't think it's that strong, man. Dude, he can't, man. Yeah, he's just not. That's. <laughs> there's this big barrier that's gonna be in the way, but I feel like it's gonna get to a point where Mob's gonna have to do stuff. He's gonna hurt, have to hurt people, and it's not gonna be pretty. Oh, I didn't even think about Dimple taking one of them. I go back and forth on Dimple, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I see. That's why Mob, he, he wasn't able to like, get through to through him or anything. Or Ritsu. <laughs> He's still weak from that? Look at this trio, man. All right, so there's no way they're going the right way. All their powers, like I said, when we saw them, we're just not... Oh my God, are they going to run into each other? What are these hallway... Oh. Not gonna stand a chance, brother. Mob actually helped there for a second. He used his powers against someone. I'm kind of sad Reagan isn't here. The thing is, too, there's so many upper echelon here. <laughs> How many, like, grunts are here? That's a cool name for a group, the Scars. Oh, that's sick. All of them together. We're gonna get a rematch, baby! Dude, his design is sick. He's got a cape. It's his voice, man. Who is he? Is it Sasuke? Is that the little... Girl. No, 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 there was someone else in the mask. No, we've seen the scars now. The mini boss? 
Dude, I did not think they would see each other again this soon. They fought last episode. Oh, mob, mobs looking serious, baby. No, Mob already has a plan. He's ready to use his powers against them if it means getting Ritsu back. He doesn't stand a chance! Dude, Mob's scaring me. Yeah. Yeah, same. It's because he already knew who he was, though. Maybe because he was evil? I don't know. I'm trying to figure Mob out and his intentions and what he's okay with. But slowly, bit by bit, we do find out. And we're kind of just seeing his journey and experiencing uh, what he can do with his powers. And I guess maybe what he's comfortable with. It all draws back to rescuing Ritsu. He wouldn't be here without rescuing Ritsu. He wouldn't feel the, the need to hurt him as bad as he did. But he saw what that guy did to Ritsu when he was going to do to all those other kids. But I like the power scaling in this show because it sets up certain characters to be very intimidating or rather intimidating. Like we saw last episode. But then it exaggerates how Mob is feeling where he just rolls him. Him right now he doesn't even need to explode anymore because it shows how much mob is is, is headstrong about this mission because that's been it for episode nine of our mob cycle 100 watch so i believe we only have three more episodes in season one after this bad boy drop a fat like on this one and i will catch you in the next one peace peace